I stood here today at the product that you may think is the uh, greatest thing that predates even slight spread by a few millennia. Me, I'm not enough of a tough to get it. I appreciate that it exists and it's just, it can be quite tasty, but uh, I'm not enough of a tough to get it. Um, this is a yogurt based on a fruit that should, rather infamously should be considered a um, the fruit of civilization that was eaten in the civilized world before recorded history. Why is that? Well, there was a great fire in ancient times, I believe, in Alexandria in Egypt, and all the written records from prehistory were lost. Almost all of them were lost there and then. So, this is a fruit that is infamous and should be for being a. Um, you know, the sliced bread of prehistory because people ate it like it was sliced bread back then. It was sweet, it was nutritious, it was absolutely everywhere. Um, it was cheap, therefore, I mean, what's there not to like? Um, unfortunately, nowadays it stands for rich tossers and what they um, pair it with, which is a shame. It was everything way a bit early. It's uh, the Chobani. Greek yogurt, caramelized fig, limited batch. And um, where is it? Little buggers. Good luck if you can read this. It's barely readable in person, but there's the uh, nutritional panel and ingredients and yada yada. Well, let's dig in, hey? These are normally a bit hit and mess, I gotta be brutally honest. Some of them are bloody delicious, others, sure, it's my one all you know, real fruit, PRA, and Craig, I get, but ugh. God almighty, why? Other, other than you cook, why? It's awful. So let's find out, eh? It's like a sweet natural yogurt. yogurt. I mean, a real bitter, tart flavour of Greek yogurt. I am still doing a bit more yogurt now, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh, the fig there was nice. Oh, look at that fig puree. Look at that there. That does look pretty dang good. But it's nicely with the yogurt. It takes the edge off the bitterness. With the green yellow do fig seeds. I have had a little blob of the fig puree and. Also, I might now be picking up a slight caramelized flavour. on that I'm probably unconvinced I really am unconvinced let's try some more though The fig puree is utterly underwhelming. It's num. It's a slight caramel flavour. I suspect it's some fat that's going on how horrible it is. But the fig puree itself tastes of practically nothing. The yogurt is irritatingly bitter, nearing, nearing on tart if you're uncareful. Uh, well. And the figs do not play nicely with the yogurt. They might take the slightest edge off the sourness, but that's it. Low fat. Oh, great. You know what I think about low fat yogurt? That's code for shitloads of sugar. 
I'll take a full fat loaf sugar yogurt. That's a healthy yogurt. You were saying calories are thick. Right, figure you had really well. Sugar. There we go. I'll sort of shake down the other yellow and just yes. Caramel sugar. I think chlorine is bad. So Semantically, it is caramelized. They rehydrated the figs, put some sugar in there, put some caramel flavoring in, which is probably that awful caramel flavor. I'm just getting the slightest tint off. But while I personally aren't a fan of figs because I. Well, I, I don't know anyone posh enough that eats them as fruit. Or even a thick paste you pair with pate from crackers. Um, so my experience is extremely limited with them. They still get it though, because a few years ago, all of us were being sitting on snozzy and uh, trying to do these luxury gourmand yogurts, and one of them was a caramelized fig. And I love figs. I understand why people like figs. They're tasty, they're rich, they're have this very thick, pasty texture. Properly caramelized sugar, they are pure decadence and, and bloody delicious. But here, no, 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 no. It's cheap, it's cynical, and it's it's pretty bloody nasty. <laughs> it's a yoga that most people who brought are brought up on this stark, flavorless. Thick shit, this stark flavorless water with this binding acidity of artificial sweet, artificial sweeteners has been congealed with vegetable gums to it has the thickness of dental cutty and it has been it has absolutely no fucking reason to eat it because it's fat free. Uh, this is a gourmet product. If you're only one ounce though, it's Garbage. I mean, if you want caramelized figs in your Greek yogurt, mix it yourself. You'll end up with an infinitely better product. That's another mess. These are uh, maybe um, maybe the batch pots down under. A lot of them are, unfortunately. Um, we only have one or two good, genuinely good ones so far, and a few of well. But this is a true dog, so I'm out of here.